You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Red Bree Entertainment presents Ladies and Gents. Um, they put together the Ladies and Gents card. And what I will say, you know me, you know me, I got the positive, I got the negative. You know what I'm saying? I got the, the, the what up shit, I got the other shit, all that. We're going to get into pretty much everything. Um, my man Showtime SP had to work, but he did definitely get to tune in to some of the battles, and hopefully we'll talk about them in the near and distant future. But, you know, while you're at it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for the notifications if you want to be part of that notification gang. Rice Gang at ricegang.myshopify.com for the merchandise, too. But, uh... Ladies and gents, car went down um, November 9th, went down today, uh, had some pretty, there were some battles on this card that were good, there were some battles on this card that were fucking horrible, it is what it is, sorry, I, 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 it is what it is, um, Lady J versus Young Smurf, um, Lady J out of Houston, she, um, you know, she, she got some fire, I ain't gonna hold you like, she beat, Young Smurf in like two bars. The nigga was fucking garbage. His shit was trash. He said some of the he said some shit like, uh, you a you a female dog. That's a bitch. So you'll really be off the chain when I let you off the leash. I cut that shit off. I cut his round off. I'm not gonna hold you. He was he was he was definitely trash. Not big stage bars. ARP, if you never bring that nigga back, it won't be too soon. Um Lady J was actually fired. She had some pretty good bars. She beat him in like the first two bars. Uh, Floss the Boss versus Blue Cocaine. That was actually a three-round battle. Um, Floss the Boss sound a lot like Old Red. I just couldn't get past that shit. Uh, Blue Cocaine, she had a couple moments in there. I could tell she's like a newer battler. Uh, you could pick whoever you want to win that one. I really don't fucking know who won that shit. I, I don't know. It is what it is. But uh, into the battles, <laughs> they started picking up after this. I promise you. Um, e Heart versus Mulatto Black. Uh, e Heart was E. Heart. Like, E Heart was wilding all throughout the fucking battle. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, Mulatto Black, yo, she choked after like her first word. I, I couldn't even believe that shit. Like, yo, she literally choked after her first word. She said like one word and was like choking. I couldn't believe it. The shit was so crazy. It looked like it was set up. We was like, is she really doing this shit right now? Nah, she ain't doing this shit right now. Um, first round was cool. Uh, I got it first round of E Heart. Clearly, she was bugging in the first round. Second round, E Heart was wildin' again. Third round, E Heart was wildin'. Mulatto Black second round was better than her first, but I got E Heart 30. 3 0. -oh. Maybe you could debate that second round, but I got E Heart winning that motherfucking thing. 3 0. -oh. BX shit. You already know what the fucking vibes is. Stop playing with me. Um, o Red versus Shuni. Now, what I will say about this battle right here, yo. Shuni came to rap, rap, rap. Uh, she was, she, she definitely had some shit in her rounds. O Red came to rap. Shuni said some shit in one of her rounds, like, I fucked up versus shotgun. Well, ch -ch -ch, I won't fuck up with the shotgun again. Like it was, it, she was bugging. Uh, she talked, to, she was, she got into some personal shit with O Red. She had some punches in her shit. Uh, but O Red, I will say this, yo. O Red did everything versus Shuni that he did not do versus Danny Mott. Three rounds, all bars. He had personals. He had punches. He had cadence. This nigga O Red was on some Transformer shit. Like I'm talking about, like the real Transformer O Red, that dangerous O Red that you know when he battled against women. I I don't know. Something about Red when he battled females like this motherfucker be wildin'. He was bugging. Um, honestly, I got O Red winning this battle 2 1, if not 3 0. Oh, Shuni may have took a round, but uh, O Red was fucking wildin'. In his third round, he said some shit like, You married to a bottom tier? It could get really intense. If we be in, uh, if we be in a hundred, I can 30, 20 at 50%. I was like, what the fuck? This nigga said it get really intense. If we being honest, I could 30, 20 at 50%. Talking about her man, you know what I'm saying? 50, 20, 20, salute to him. Saying that she's with a bottom tier rapper and shit like that. Uh, he was bugging. He, his third round, that nigga got super personal. He was wildin'. Now, 
she did she definitely did have a Ricky shotgun line. I thought that was fire. Uh she was like, you know, clicking the back. You hear Ricky! Somebody in the crowd, I think it was a man, said Ricky! They hit the nigga in the back. She came to play, but Oh, Red had mad personal shit. He had super personals, was mad disrespectful, and she didn't die, 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 but that third round was on some, you know, mad face dog killer shit. Like, he was bugging on her in that third. I don't know. <sighs> that, you signed up for that? You signed up for that third? Oh, my goodness, man. Let me get a sip of what I was sipping, because Oh, Red was tripping. Um, I will say this. You know, she, she definitely did her thing. I'm not gonna take nothing from her. But uh Old Red was definitely on his old red shit. If you're a fan of Old Red and you like what he's able to do, when he's in that bag, that bagging tin, that bag bag bag, yeah, he was in that bag. I got old red clearly winning this battle. Um salute to ARP, Lawrence, shot to Rare Breed Entertainment. Uh this car was it was it, that like I said, so you got Mulatto Black, e -Heart. I had e -Heart 30, e -Heart's performance was fire. Then you led up to O-Red and Shuni, battle was fire. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving O-Red and Shuni about an 8. 8 and a half, 8, 8 and a half. Uh, O-Red's third especially, that was a very, very good battle. Um, that has some replay value. O-Red versus any female will have replay value. O-Red versus Shuni got a lot of replay value. Um, e -Heart versus Mulatto Black. Uh, E-Hearts rounds got a lot of replay value. Um, T-Rex versus Rosenberg. If you did not see the other blog, Rex ruined the fucking battle. He talked all through Rosenberg's rounds. He was bitching about the time. Very classless, and it was just bad. It, I got Rosenberg Raw winning 3-0. Even if Rex could have potentially won a round, I'm not giving him no round with that bullshit. You talking through somebody's rounds, you turning your back, you... Uh, uh, like, come on, fam. Like, we not doing that. Uh, uh no 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 hell take the L and like I said if this is any indication of what you're gonna do versus Rock you're losing period I got Rock winning I've been had Rock winning now I got Rock body in this nigga um it is what it is I don't even want to waste really no more time talking about this nigga Rex because he was bitching about the time bitching about the battle and it just wasn't a good look it was not a good look I feel like I got robbed and I didn't even pay to see the battles. I got robbed, and I didn't even pay. I got robbed for my time. I will not watch that battle again, whether it's on replay, pay-per-view. I will not watch that shit again. It was very bad. Um, QB versus Shane Ashley. Uh, Shane Ashley came into the battle. She has a lot of bars. She has a lot of setups. She has good punches. She did her thing in this battle. Uh, QB, she was doing her thing. Then, you know what I'm saying, the same shit with the time. Niggas was bit females was bitching about the time. Like, all I heard was QB. I thought it was 2.30, I thought it was 2.30, I thought it was 2.30. And once they started doing that shit right there, it's like, man, I was watching it, but man, I was watching everything else in my life but that shit. So, I don't know. You can call that battle however you want. I don't know who fucking won. And honestly, I really don't care. 2-1 either way. I, this is a, I don't know. They both, they had some bars, but once people start bitching about the time, the time, the time, you said you were gonna come on, come on, you gotta do something about this. Come on, happy, you gotta do something about this. I got about the time, whatever the time, whatever. The time. I'm like, man, fuck this. I ain't trying to hear it. Just being honest with you, I'm just being dead honest with you. Scale of one to ten, get that battle another four, cause I, I couldn't even watch the shit. Now, what I will say about the last two battles on the card. Charlie Clips versus Farrah Funeral. Charlie Clips versus Farrah Funeral. I was one of the first ones to go out on a limb and say Farrah Funeral was going to get body. Farrah Funeral was going to get 30. Farrah Funeral had no business even standing in front of Charlie Clips. I did say all of this, but what I will say, and that's the best thing about battle rap and blogging and having your own platform because when, you're, when you don't get it right, you can jump in front of the camera and admit it. And what I will admit is I was wrong. I was wrong. And you know what? I know ARP made sure that she saw the blog and then he, he added her and told her that I said she was getting body. I know he did. I know people that told me that they told her and she said she was going to give me, she had some shit to show. And I'm cool for that. Listen, 
If I could say you gonna die or you losing or you definitely don't deserve to be there and you show up and do your thing, I could take that. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely take because I'd much rather see you do what you're supposed to do than show up, get beat the fuck up, and then it's like, nah, this shit is trash. Um, Charlie Clips was prepared. Charlie Clips wrote for Farrah Funeral. Charlie Clips don't write for a lot of people. You could tell his material was catered directly to her. Di direct. He had personals. He had angles. He had schemes. He had rebuttals. He had everything that he needed. And you know what? He's lucky he had it because if he didn't pack his lunch versus her, he was going to lose the battle. I got Charlie Clips winning the first round. I got Fair Funeral winning the second round. Very, very close round, but her material was crazy and her rebuttals was wild. Charlie Clips said some shit about her fucking John John, and then she said, I, uh, she said, you know, I get it. Wow. Yeah, ever since I let John hit these walls, he's a wizard now. So, yo, what the shit was crazy. She came out with the rebuttals. Uh, she had the flow was there. Um, Charlie Clips third round. I got Charlie Clips winning the third. Uh, I got him winning 2-1. There may be some people out there who feel like Farrah got it too. And I'm not mad at that. But Farrah, you did your motherfucking thing. That what you did versus him was what you were supposed to do versus Misfit. And hopefully that translates into a lot of your other battles. Because I know you said you wasn't um, expecting. Yeah, people wasn't expecting you to do your thing. But uh, you did your thing. Scale of 1 to 10. And then, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Charlie Clips had Hitman Holla jump in. And then he had John John and Don jump in. Back to back. That shit was fire. Hitman came in. He had some bars. He was talking about the old battle that they had in the hallway. It was a very, very, very good. This battle right here is the highlight of the night. I will give them a uh, nine and a half on this battle. Nine and a half. I don't really feel like there's too many perfect battle, perfect 10, 10, 10s. But this is definitely the best battle. I think this is the best battle of the night. One of the best back and forths of the night. Farrah held her own. Farrah had rebuttals. Farrah had charisma. Farrah had her people on her side. She definitely came to play. And I'm I'm happy for her, like I said. Uh, but Charlie Clips third round was mad personal. He was talking about how... Farrah used to be with Fetty, and Fetty used to, and Fetty's married to Shuni, and then he said two bitches fighting over Fetty like Lady in the Tramp. Oh, oh, the Lady in the Tramp line was crazy. <sighs> Charlie Clips was in his vintage bag. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, he was wilding. Leave Charlie Clips alone. Hey, when he's when he's like that. But I said if he wrote for her, or if he had even paid her any mind and focus, he could definitely um, show up and show out. Last but not least, Ill Will versus Chef Trez. Chef Trez's first main event, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really ain't been the main event when he was on URL. You know, they stuff him on the car, but they put that nigga like the bottom versus like Shotgun Sugar. No, 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 no hate. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hating. But they just stuff him on like the bottom of the car. Nobody, they really didn't give him any headline, headline battles and shit. He battled Rum Nitty, but that was before Rum Nitty was. Rum Nitty, like the Rum Nitty now, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like two two years ago, and he got cleaned up by him. Battle JC, that was actually a pretty good battle, but he never really got to the apex, like where Twerk is at or Geechee Gotti, like that status where them niggas is getting Arsenal, niggas is getting like the big ass names Rock and Surf, them niggas is getting all of them. Trez, even though he has talent. He wasn't getting those type. Y'all niggas know what the vibes is. Come on, man. Stop acting like you don't fucking know. Y'all niggas know the politics and shit. Come on, B. So, he goes over to RBE. He headlines versus um, Ill Will. Now, obviously, he's headlining against Ill Will because of the work that he's putting on other platforms because it's hard to get onto a new platform and headline. Um, in this battle, what I will say is uh, Ill Will went crazy. Ill Will went crazy. Chef went first. His first round, his energy was like, a little off, you know what I'm saying? His energy wasn't too crazy. He had some shit, but Ill Will comes out his first round. This nigga is smoking shit. Smoking. He is wilding. He was bugging all throughout his first round. Uh, he said, you know, he had some line about fucking um, the fucking, the chef, the two arms on the side, like the food waiting to cook and all this other shit. The chef comes back in his second round, probably knowing he was down 1-0. 
he comes out with the rebuttals and shit. And then, you know, he says the arms behind the back, I'm taking the apron off. And, you know, a lot, there was a lot of chef and a lot of wheel flips in this battle. Wheel, chef, you know, when they say wheel and wheel. And, um, Ill Will comes out. He rebuttals a lot of rebuttals in this battle. Um, long story short, Ill Will won this battle pretty clear. Uh, he had more stage presence. He had more energy. He was rebuttaling shit. He said some shit like, uh, they say Av ain't won a round all year. They say Av ain't lost a round all year. Well, some shit like, yeah, right. That nigga came against me and he lost his life. <laughs> what? Then he said, Gemini man, only Will could beat Will. Yo. Only Will could kill Will. Yo, this nigga Ill Will was bugging, yo. Uh, two, two, uh, two, one, three, oh, ish. Probably 3-0 for Ill Will. Like, he can be argued to have won every round. Chef Trey's second round was the strongest round. That'll probably be debated. But uh, Ill Will got the first and third. Clearly, he was wild on, on, on Chef Trey's. And I call it like I call it, so I don't spoil it. That's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no sides. I don't want no picks. I don't want no biasness. You know what I'm saying? Not even to the league or to the platform. Like, I don't care if you give me the, if you, they give me the event for free, regardless of the league. If it doesn't turn out good, I'm going to say the shit was trash. If it turns out great, I'm going to say it was great. Whether I pay for it or whether you give it to me, my opinion can't really be bought. Um, overall, I will say the event was good. Uh, the main two battles from Chef Trez and Ill Will and Charlie Clips versus Farrah Funeral, very exciting battles. They was, they was very exciting. They kept my attention. The, the boss was there. Uh, QB versus Shane Ashley, eh, not so much. Uh, T-Rex versus Rosenberg, hell no. O-Red versus Shuni, yes. E-Heart versus Mulatto Black, yes. They both, the, all of those battles definitely um, played their part. Uh, O-Red may have had the performance of the night. If not, Ill Will. Yeah, O-Red or Ill Will. Definitely had some of the better performances of the night. Um, out of the, all of the new people, I think Lady J really uh, was the one that, that 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 stood out to me the most. Uh, she got some supreme punches, shit like that. I didn't see the uh, Yoshi versus J2. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. That, whatever. I catch the shit on the rerun or some other shit. I catch it then. I didn't get to see it. So what? I mean, you know, what can I do? But. Uh, Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. I know a lot of people be waiting for these recaps and be wanting to hear my personal opinion. Of, and I value that. And I appreciate y'all checking out this content and watching these recaps and staying in tune with everything that's going on. Uh, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, ARP. Uh, you know, shout out to Lawrence putting this event together. Uh, Rex, ah, no. Y'all might want to save y'all money on that shit because he don't respect platforms. He said in the interview after the battle that if y'all book me for two minutes, I'm rapping two minutes, and if the nigga that I'm rapping against goes over two minutes, I'm ruining the battle. He's like, I'm, I'm, he said, I'm going to ruin the battle. I'm going to, I am going to purposely ruin the battle. I'm going to ruin the footage. He basically said that. Are you serious? Like, what the fuck are you coming back for to do that? Like, if you're going to come back to do that, stay wherever you were. I'm going to, I'm going to ruin the footage. I've been doing that. Like, what? Whose man? Like Showtime says, whose man's is this? Like, this thing, I'm gonna ruin the battle on purpose. I hope them niggas in Battle Academy got this shit together because if he starts doing that shit there, my nigga. I mean, I'm not, I don't wanna pay to see Rex again anyway. Like, I, I mean, I didn't pay for him this time either. I think the last time I paid to see Rex might have been that shit versus Reed Dollars. I don't, I'm not paying for him. He's got legendary, he, he's done legendary shit in his career. But at this point in his career, I'm sorry, I'm no, no, I'm not doing that. It's like me paying to see Joe Johnson right now or some shit like that. It's not gonna happen. Um, but like I said, the event was cool, good event overall. Good overall. That that Charlie Clips and Fair Funeral was a very good battle. Them jumping in, um, Hitman Holla and John John jumping in, dope, very dope. Um, so you know, scale of one to ten. I get a battle uh, event about seven and a half. I do that. Seven and a half is, is a pretty solid event. Uh, the VOD is out. You can cop the VOD to see, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the battles on there if you're trying to peep it. 
And um, other than that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Y'all have a safe weekend. Do what y'all do. Salute to all the veterans out there. Monday is Veterans Day. If you know the veteran, or you know you got a friend or a family member that's a veteran, you make sure that you salute them. You know what I mean? That's their sacrifices and um, their contributions to our freedoms are definitely things that we respect. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of family that are veterans and things like that. I have had a lot of people in my time tell me that I was in the army. I've never spent a day in the army in my life. But you know what? I in battle rap, they'll make up rumors and they'll say things about you, but you know, it's just, you know, you dispel them things and you just laugh about it. But I've heard I was in the army and all this other shit, but I never was.